Is being a vegetarian really better for the environment? Anthony Carboni here for D News, and I'm a vegetarian, mostly because animals are adorable. Sometimes you can teach them to do tricks, but there are a lot of other reasons people present for living a vegetarian and vegan lifestyle, things like environmental impact. A new study released by the Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden says that if we don't slow our meat and dairy consumption, we won't be able to meet the UN climate target of limiting global warming to two degrees Celsius. See, in addition to the energy and resources used by the processes of the meat and dairy industry, there's a big problem with the animals themselves, ruminants. Animals like cows, goats, sheep, they actually ferment food in one of their stomachs before digesting it. That fermentation process creates methane, which they release the same way you and I release digestive gas, silently if possible, while subtly implying that it was the cow next to you that actually did it. Methane has about 20 times the heat trapping capabilities of carbon. A single cow releases 100 kilograms of methane a year, and that works out to the same amount of emissions as a car burning through 235 gallons of gas. And when you add that to the cost of agricultural production, which is about 12,000 megatons of carbon dioxide a year, it all comes out to food being responsible for one third of all of our greenhouse gas emissions. Wait, 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 wait. I said food production. Not all food production is ruminant animals. Isn't that a misleading fact? Yes. Let's say you eat a kilogram of beef, either because you are a werewolf or you want to get your picture on the wall of a steakhouse. That's going to give you 2,300 calories. Now, a kilogram of broccoli only has 340 calories. You need calories for energy. You are a growing werewolf, so you need to eat almost seven kilograms of broccoli to get the same amount of calories in that kilogram of beef. And that costs more to farm. Now, broccoli is more environmentally sound than, say, beef, turkey, or lamb per calorie, but it's more destructive in terms of greenhouse emissions than single stomach animals like chicken or pork or fish like tuna, though other vegetarian staples like tofu and nuts are even less destructive than that. Okay, well, what if you buy from an organic, environmentally friendly farm? Well, their emissions are lower, but they produce fewer crops and livestock per season, so it kind of evens out. So what do we do? Well, the Chalmers study recommends moving away from beef and dairy and subsidizing systems and farms to more effectively deal with the greenhouse gases that ruminants release by capturing all those dangerous cow farts and goat feces and using them for more effective fertilizers and putting additives in animal diets to make them a little less gassy. We put the same thing in my grandmother's food when she's not looking. It makes us all happier. So in the end, is vegetarian vegetarianism better for the environment? Well, it depends on how carefully a vegetarian is watching their diet, but it also turns out that a responsible omnivore could do almost as little damage. Doesn't change how cute animals are though. How about that? Would you change your diet to slow climate change? Do you want to let me know that you are eating a delicious hamburger right now? You can tweet at me to let me know that. I'm at a Carboni.